This is my favorite part of the game. Do you see this? You get to stir the cauldron. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another gameplay. I'm Lexi, I'm really happy to have you here with me. So tonight I thought we would try a game that I played before. This is not a new game to me, but I'm going to begin a new game for you guys so that you get a chance to have a look and a feel for what Potion Craft has to offer. So Potion Craft is described as an alchemist simulator where you physically interact with your tools and ingredients to brew potions. You're in full control of the whole shop. You can invent new recipes, attract customers, and experiment to your heart's content. Just remember, the whole town is counting on you. Okay, so all this being said, I think that we are ready to get into a new game. The story begins. You're a novice alchemist wandering the world in search of your destiny. After a long journey, you have finally found a place to ply your trade. <laughs> we're gonna skip over the tutorial and we're just gonna dive straight into the game. Sorry, I have tarot cards falling all over me because on my other channel, The Spiritual Social, I do tarot. Okay, so, abandoned house. You found an old abandoned house at the edge of the town. Judging by the alchemy equipment and garden, the former owner seems to have practiced alchemy. Ooh, my kind of person. Apparently a wizard used to live here, but the layer of dust and the condition of the house suggests that it has been empty for a long time. I mean, this is phenomenal. You know, in our current economy, we can barely afford rent, but this person just stumbled upon an abandoned house, which also happens to incorporate an alchemy laboratory. I mean, talk about being touched by the hand of God, right? So let's click, okay. Shop opening. You decide to turn the house into a potion shop. After several days of cleaning and preparing, the shop is ready for its first customers. It's time to remember your alchemy skills and start this new life in a new town. Alrighty. <laughs> Adding ingredients to the cauldron. Potions are made from two ingredients. Take two terrarias and two water blooms from your inventory and throw them in the cauldron. To move ingredients, click and hold the mouse, drag them to the cauldron and let go. Pay attention to the alchemy map. On the laboratory wall, it shows you the path the ingredients create once they are added to the cauldron. Good. Why isn't it doing anything? Sorry, I just figured out that I had to follow the instructions. Anyway, moving on. So, two terrarias and two water blooms. After adding ingredients, you can stir the potion. Stirring the potion advances the potion icon down the path defined by the ingredients. Use the spoon to stir. Click and hold the mouse and move the spoon back and forth until the potion icon on the map reaches the desired position. Stirring allows... <laughs> it's a lot of potion position, you know, pip pip pip. Stirring allows the potion icon to collect experience points. Accumulating experience lets you level up, but has no effect on the current potion. This is my favorite part of the game. Do you see this? You get to stir the cauldron. <laughs> Heating. Now the potion icon is touching an unknown effect. To find out what the effect does, you need to add it to the current potion. To add the effect to the potion, you need to bring the water in the cauldron to a boil. Use the bellows to blow on the coals and heat the cauldron to the desired temperature. Take the bellows by the handle and continue blowing on the coals until there is an explosion over the cauldron. So this means we get to manhandle this. I love that effect. Finishing a potion. Perfect. You've added a new effect to the potion, healing. To finish making the potion, press finish potion. Grinding ingredients, a mortar and a pestle are an alchemist's best friends. You can use the mortar and pestle to grind up practically any ingredients and unlock their potential. This helps you create the same potion using fewer ingredients. 
Try to create the same potion using just one terraria and one water bloom. Take terraria from your inventory, place it in the mortar and grind it up with... Jail. There we go. <laughs> and grind it up with the pestle until it turns to mush. Add ground terraria to cauldron. Completely grind the water bloom using the mortar and pestle. But it's so pretty. I'm gonna do it evil now. This is good for anger relief. Stir the potion using the spoon, my favorite part. <laughs> we leveled up. I'm talented, baby. Heat the potion using the bellows. <laughs> modest very modest saving a potion recipe excellent you made the very same potion but used half as many ingredients <laughs> so efficient your first potion attempt will always be the most optimal so experiment and perfect it if you're happy with the potion you made save it in the recipe book then you can make the potion in the future with a click of a button that is such a useful thing to have in this because when the clients come in you need to have pre-made recipes I'll show you in a second save the recipe for your current potion press save recipe to save it. I actually clicked over skip tutorial right but just so you know it still gives you a tutorial finishing a potion nicely done you saved the recipe now finish making the potion finish it you are the owner of a potion shop, and your task is not only to brew potions, but also sell them to customers. A customer has arrived. Who? <laughs> Go to the shop. For moving between rooms, use the navigation buttons at the edge of each room. Okay, so we are working with the WASD keys or the arrow keys. To go to the shop, click the navigation button or on the left or press the A key. Okay, I got it. Every day people from all over town and even from other towns will stop in to buy various magic potions. Your job is to brew potions in the laboratory and sell them to customers. <laughs> Many potions must be brewed for a specific purpose, but it's still a good idea to keep a few of the most popular potions on hand just in case. <laughs> you may need to schluck a couple of them just in order to deal with these people. If a customer likes a potion, it will be clear from their reaction. Most of them will try to trick you. so. Okay, offer a potion for sale. Take it from the inventory and place it on the right side of the scale. Now, this woman says the following. My husband has been ill for some time now, but recently he got even worse. Now he can't even get up. He has a fever and sweats. Do you have any medicine for my poor husband? We have the healing medicine. Bow. The amount of gold you will receive from a selling a potion is shown in the sell button. Click the sell button to sell the potion. That's not the end of the story. We can also haggle. Okay. I was just walking down the street, minding my own business, when a flower pot fell out of nowhere and bonked me right on the head. Good thing I've always had a thick skull or I'd be out cold. But I've got a nice big bump on my head now. What can I rub on it to make it go away? Pride. Yes, to make more money on a potion, you can try haggling. Successful haggling could significantly increase the price of a potion, but unsuccessful haggling could do the opposite, make a drop. There's also another catch. If you haggle too much with them, the rumor will go around town that you're a cheapskate and your reputation will decline. So you have to be very discerning in whom you're choosing to haggle with and who you're just going to like, okay, I'm going to sell you the potion. So let's see. And now in order to haggle, I have to stop the arrow on one of the weather phenomena. This was difficult for me to get at the beginning, but it came after many failures, like everything in life. Oh, okay, so we sell it for 12 instead of 10. You will often not have a ready-made potion for certain customers. 
That's okay. You can always go back to the laboratory and make the potion they need. There is no time limit, so you can focus on the recipe. The client will not leave. Go to the garden to gather ingredients for the potion. It is located to the right. The Enchanted Garden is one of the alchemist's main sources for ingredients. Every day new herbs and mushrooms will grow in the garden. Don't forget to pick them from time to time. Click on ingredients to gather them. Fire Bell, Terraria. Go to the laboratory to create a new potion. The customer needs poison, which means you need to create a potion with a poison effect. You will have to look for most of the effects on your own throughout the map, but you remember from your alchemy lessons that such a potion can be made from one terraria and one fire bell. How convenient that we happen to have them in the garden. We failed. And you guys know why? It's because I didn't grind them. Try again. Poisoning. Save recipe. Finish uh, potion. It's really important that you save before you finish it because if you finish it, you can't save it. So you're gonna have to do the same again. What should we do? Shall we sell her the poison for 13? Or should we haggle? I want to haggle because, you know, she's buying poison, so she might as well work for it. There we go. We got two more gold. <laughs> Once the last customer leaves the shop, you can have a rest in your bedroom. It is located about the laboratory. How kind. <laughs> go to the bedroom to end the day. You kind of move in a cross in this game, so it's like you have the shop, you have your place where you create the potions, then you have like the garden, then you have the basement in which you can use all sorts of alchemical cauldrons, and up in the attic is where you sleep. <laughs> That's basically it. That's the whole gist of the game, and it can be really relaxing to play, but it can also be frustrating to get certain potions. Excellent, you have refreshed your alchemy knowledge and familiarized yourself with the alchemy equipment. In the attic next to the bed, you found a few ingredients and a ladle for water. This is your potion shop now, and you decide what to do next. Yeah, my way or the highway. Great customers chat, sell potions, haggle, and don't forget to gather ingredients from the enchanted garden and gradually explore the alchemy map. Good luck. Thank you, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> You can't really interact with many other objects here in your bedroom. You get to see like the day and the bed, that's all. So we're just going to begin our day by gathering what's in the garden. Okay. This is our basement and we have to repair these machines. But first of all, let's make some money. Greetings, I recently went fishing at a lake in the forest. I cast my line out and immediately got a bite. I reeled it in and tried to get it off the hook, but that fish had some teeth. It bit me on the palms and flopped back in the water. Now my hand is all swollen. How can I fish now? I think that you need some healing potion.
So in our saved recipes, which is this button over here, we have right now a weak potion of healing, a weak potion of poisoning, and another weak potion of healing. So when you click on it, instead of actually going through everything that I just did, you could just go like, brew this recipe. And it shows that I can brew this recipe 11 times, or 10 more times, because I have 10 water blooms and 13 terraria. And we have here two of those. Let's make two poison as well. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need it. And now let's close the book and go back to the shop. I'm just going to sell him this potion because he was a victim, you know, so I don't want him to struggle to buy from me as well. I was accosted by a bandit who wanted to rob me, but he picked the wrong target. I gave him a beating he will not soon forget <laughs> at a girl. But afterwards, when I finally reached town, I slipped and hurt my knee. Do you have anything I can use to heal it? Well, I'm just going to... I would basically just give her this because... Well done. So I've increased in popularity. Mm. Good afternoon. Yesterday at a friend's party, I burned my tongue on some hot soup. Now I can't taste a thing and I'm a brewer. I need to be able to check the quality of my product. My tongue is useless now. TMI? Do you have a healing tincture of some kind? Yes, I just need to make it. <laughs> Dude, you don't have to tell me the whole backstory of how you hurt yourself, you know. Ask for a healing potion. Imagine if we would shop nowadays in this style as well. <laughs> Hi, are you the new alchemist? I'm the local herbalist. I gather plants and sell them. Want to see what I have for sale? I think I have something that might interest you. Show me your goods. So what's... what is it that... We don't have. We basically have everything here. We don't need anything. So, nah, for the time being. Let's see, do you sell anything besides herbs? I only sell what I know about flowers, herbs, roots, and various berries and fruit. You can buy other things from other merchants. Yes, there is a dwarf um, who comes and sells you crystals. So, at least I know of that. So the elf sells us herbs and the dwarf crystals most of the time. I was rebuilding my roof yesterday and accidentally disturbed the wasp nest. Do you have anything to treat wasp things? Wasp stings. It's hard to pronounce. Um, yes, I do. But I'm gonna haggle because you disturbed the wasps. Shame on you. Give me more money. <laughs> Roofless. My head really hurts and it's keeping me awake. Do you have some kind of sleeping draught that can help me? Ooh. Well, in order for us to discover new recipes, we are going to have to be creative about finding out things. So, let's see. I would like to go up, so I'm going to use a wind bloom. Make the most of this product. So we can discover new areas on the map and maybe we discover the sleeping potion. You have to be careful not to walk into these skulls because then your potion just disappears and you have to start all over again. That's why sometimes it can be quite tricky to play the game. Ah, look! There's one over here. Okay, swiftness. Okay, that's good. That's good enough. It's not exactly something for sleep. 
Let's go down. I want to show you the vortex. Okay, so it, we can go down right now, and there is this thing, this vortex over here. And I think that if you twist the vortex, it teleports you. It's so cool. <laughs> take our chances and I'm just going to go through it and we have a bunch of room and let's see what kind of recipe this one is strength still nothing to alleviate tiredness Oh no, I think I did a boo-boo. Let's see. Ah oh, no, it's okay. I thought that I pushed myself into these skulls. Have to be very careful. Maybe this one? Sleep potion? Frost. I haven't played this game in about two months, I think, so I kind of forgot where I found the sleep potion. Okay, let's go in this direction. It's really nice because it allows you um, a fine-tuning moment and you see you sometimes when you put according to how perfect you put the bottle on the location it gives you one roman numeral two roman numerals or three roman numerals and this is the strength of your potion you can make it weak medium or very strong and the strong potions give you more money so people pay more for strong potions I think sleep was a bit complicated. I think sleep was somewhere either up here in a corner or was it over there next to the frost? Now you know what? I'm gonna disappoint the customer and just say sleeping draught that can cure you. Sorry, it hurts our reputation if we reject customers, but we can do it from time to time. A certain alchemist sold me a potion that made my stomach hurt and gave me the runs. Is there anything you can give me to help me feel better? So, I guess healing? Yeah, he likes it. No, let's not haggle with him. Let's just sell him the potion because he has diarrhea, so I don't want to keep him in my shop for too long. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of our first day. Let's go to bed. I think it was a good day. We discovered so many new potions. Still not yet close to the sleep one, but it's okay. We're gonna get there. We just need to gather more plants first. See, that's why it's important to begin the day with the plants already collected because then you know whether to buy them from the new merchant or not and you know how many you have in order to explore here on the map but i really i just enjoy this mortar and pestle and this oh it's so nice And all of these books that we collect, these are experience points and they help you level up quicker so that you can move on to the chapters. I think that's sleep. No, 
we can still get it. And if we pour from... Wait, let me just get the potion and I'll show you guys in a second. Ah, oh, we got dexterity. Still not sleep. <laughs> I can't remember where sleep was. Oh man. <laughs> if you manhandle it, it goes outside. I'm so determined to find that sleep potion. I'm just gonna get... Should I get myself in this big vortex? Yeah. Woo! Okay, I leveled up. Now I hopefully have enough wind bloom to get myself out of this corner. Be careful with corners you need to get out of the corners very fast because if, if you linger if you linger in near the skulls you're gonna get blown and not in a good way <laughs> ah. uh, I'll see myself out in a second just let me finish this day okay oh there's another recipe. Look, and if we if we use this, pour water from the ladle. You get to fine tune the location of your bottle. This is really good for corners. Like if you are in dangerous corners, you really need to fine tune yourself. Um, let me just like for example. I'm a little bit off my game here. So if I pour water from the ladle, I can move the location of the X, you see? Mm. Still not precise, but it's better than nothing. Mm. Potion of Charm. Where was sleep? Where was sleep? I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, and you can zoom out, zoom in and zoom out of the map. The map is, is huge, guys. Like, um, there are certain potions, like, towards the far end corners. You often have to go through a barrage of skulls to get them. Those are the more complicated ones. I'm trying to remember. I think it's in this area over here. Hmm. Anyway, let's begin our day and see what happens. I need a potion that will help me keep meat, vegetables, and other food fresh and preserved. Can you imagine this was before refrigerators? So they need frost. Should we haggle? No, because his life is already difficult. He doesn't have a refrigerator, so let's just sell him the potion. I need a healing potion. With her, I think we can haggle. She's very straightforward, so I'm sure she's going to enjoy the experience of haggling. I need a potion that can get rid of cockroaches, bedbugs, and other insects. I think you need poison, my friend. And should we haggle with him? No, because, I mean, dude, he already has lice, you know, like, just let the poor man be. His life is already hard. Hi, need any herbs? Let's see. Do we need any herbs? How many terraria? We have 14, wind blooms, 4, 5. I mean, I could get a couple of more. I mean, you always need wind blooms. And here is a word of advice. You can always haggle with them. And I recommend that you do that because look, we are meant to pay 188 for two of these. It's like 
He's, he's robbing me. I'm just noticing that one of them costs 78 and we only have 241. He's robbing me in broad daylight. I'm just gonna take your water plumes and I'm gonna haggle. You don't lose reputation points when you haggle with the merchants. So it's always good to do that. Okay, I got them for 27 gold. Yeah. <laughs> Get the money, get the bag. I forgot how you do that. It's a deal. <laughs> oh God. Get the money, get the bag. How? <laughs> I accidentally spilled hot soup on my leg. You're a piece of work. Do you have anything to treat burns? Yes but I need to make some more. So let's go to our book. Click on the healing potion through this recipe. And let's serve it to the man, but I'm gonna haggle him for it because he should have known better. <laughs> Judging my customers. I need a potion I can help you put a fire put out oh god that can help put out a fire in my house or my fields the more your reputation sinks the more people come to you with a need to buy potions so that they can poison their neighbor or steal money from somebody else or you know kind of walk through walls and do all sorts of crimes and murders so you have to be careful put out a fire um, I think you need frost Although, I'm not sure if I can make it. Can I brew it? Yeah. Well, she's already, you know, her cattle, her barnyard is already on fire, so poor woman has enough trouble in her life. Let's help her out. My shop has become popular. We're making good decisions. I have a bad case of the runs. Got <laughs> anything I can treat it? Oh god, TMI. Um, I definitely feel like you need a healing potion. Healing potions, you can brew as many of them as you can. You will always sell them. Huh? So I think that's it. That's our second day. I think I'm going to end the video here because I'm just noticing that I was playing for one hour. I didn't even realize it. So thank you for hanging out with me. Give Potion Craft a try if you enjoyed it. It's really relaxing actually. And you saw the map is so huge, you get to explore. And this is only like a quarter of the potions that you could create, so much more. And then you can create magic salts um, and you can create all sorts of alchemical, like the Philosopher's Stone and things like that. It's really, really fun. So thank you for joining me. Have a great one. Happy gaming in the meantime. See you in my next one.